Welcome to part 2 on ACL. In this video, we are going to cover how to set up recursive ACL permissions, default ACL and deleting ACL. Now let us create a directory first. Let's suppose D underscore set. If I check the ACL on this, get FACL, sorry, get FACL on D underscore set. So as of now, there is no ACL set. If I now create a file inside D underscore set with the name F1, as well as a directory under, under D set, let's say D1. And if I check the ACL on these F1 and D1, get FACL, D underscore set, F1, no ACL is set. D1, no ACL is set, right? Now, if I use the command set FACL M user, let us suppose Rohit and I give read and execute on the directory D underscore set, okay? On the directory D set, D underscore set. Now, if I check the ACL on D underscore set, you can see the ACL is set for Rohit on the directory D underscore set. But when I issue this command, does this make any impact on the content of D underscore set? That is, does it set ACL for the file F1? No, it doesn't. There's no ACL for Rohit. Does it do it for D1? No. All right. So the ACL is set for the directory, but not for the content that is inside the directory. So there might be situations where you want to set the ACL for the entire directory content as well. There might be 100 to 100 files. So you cannot run this command individually for each of the file or subdirectories. So you, what do you want is whatever ACL you set for the directory, the same should be applicable for the contents within that directory, that is the files and subdirectories. So for that, we are going to use recursive ACL and the command will be exactly the same. But in the very beginning, we are going to use minus capital R. And remember, you should not use small x, but you should use capital X. This is very important. Even in the exam also, you should use capital X because what happens with capital X is the regular files will not get the execute permission whereas the directories will get the execute permission which is important you don't want to give execute permission to a regular file because a regular file cannot be executed whereas if you don't give execute permission to the subdirectories the user will not be able to go inside those those directories so execute for the directory is a must, but it is not required for regular file. So capital X don't give or do not give execute permission to regular files, but grants execute permission to the subdirectories. Okay, now let us check get FACL for D1, which is a directory. So you can see Rohit gets read and execute. But when I check for the file F1, inside the set now you can see rohit only gets read but not the execute permission which is the required thing now the next part is how to set default acl so what do you mean by default acl is if i create a new subdirectory inside d underscore set with the name d2 now let me check what is the ACL for D2, no ACL is set, okay? So what happens with recursive ACL is that all the files and directories that were there before you executed the recursive ACL, only those are impacted. But what if you want that for all the newly created files and subdirectories, the ACL should be automatically granted. In that case, you need to set default ACL. So what I want is that whatever new files and subdirectories that I create under D underscore set, 
should get read and execute for rohit so i'll use set facl hyphen d sorry hyphen m d user is rohit and permissions that i want is read execute and then the directory now whatever content i create inside d underscore set will automatically get these writes for rohit okay earlier on d2 we didn't get anything but now let us suppose i create d3 and i check get fcl on d3 so you can see rohit has got read and execute permissions similarly if i create a file inside d underscore set let's suppose f3 and i check the permissions on f3 you can see rohit has got read and execute now you might be confused that for a regular file it is giving execute but if you look here on the right hand side the effective permissions are still read only okay so it doesn't matter what is written here if you see something here like this effective this means only read or whatever set is mentioned here will be applicable why i'm getting this because the default mask here look at this mask is read so mask is read only so which means that only the read permission will be allowed so you cannot overwrite whatever is mentioned in the mask so in the default since i set read and execute only for the directory so the directory is getting the execute permission but the file will not get the execute permission because mask will be read only also remember that default is only for future files after you set the command the previous files that you created before the default will not be impacted now the last thing is how to delete the acl that is set on a file or on a directory so we know that we have set the acl for the directory d underscore set so plus sign indicates that ACL is set as discussed in the previous video. So now I want to delete the ACL. If I use set F, get FACL for D underscore set. As of now, there is only one user Rohit for whom the ACL is set. So let me set the ACL for a couple of more users quickly using set FACL minus m user is responsible jeet and read write x for d underscore set now let us set acl for one more user and that would be saurab all right so get facl on d underscore set so we can see that it is set for three different users right now if i want to delete the acl for one of the user only then i'll use set facl minus x mention the user which is let us suppose paljeet for the directory d underscore set if i check again now you can see that the user paljeet is not there because Baljeet is deleted from the list of ACL. Now, what if you want to remove all ACL for this directory D underscore set? You completely want to remove it. So when I delete ACL for one of the users and I long list the directory, I'll still get that plus sign right here. Now I want to delete the ACL for everyone. No ACL on D underscore set. So I'll use set FACL hyphen b and then just write the name of the directory all acl are removed now so if i check with get facl you can see nothing is there no user is mentioned here and also we can verify with ls minus ld d underscore set 
the plus sign is no more there which means that no ACL is set on this particular directory. So I hope that the permission management that we have learned in this module are clear. In the next video, we will cover a few practice problems based upon the permission management.